Calling an audible in this episode is just yesterday we lost actor Treat Williams. And while he wasn't a horror actor per se, he did have a lot of everything in his long career. And everything included a 1988 horror comedy co-starring Joe Piscopo of SNL fame. It was called Dead Heat. And this is Slasher Sports Center. Make no mistake, there are going to be a ton of buddy cop duos that moviegoers are going to think of before Treat Williams and Joe Piscopo. You're not going to find two more polished pros than these guys, though. All right, this movie's about a, a cop that's killed investigating a strange case of resurrected corpses. His partner and a pathologist resurrect him. Big mistake. But he only has a limited time before he starts to decompose, and he uses that time to chase down the diabolical man who killed him. It's directed by Mark Goldblatt. Now, he only directed two films. The other one, the 1989 Punisher, starring Dolph Lundgren, who didn't remember that? Goldblatt, though, he's known as kind of a master editor, okay? ACE certified, daddy. And I, I think that really shows in Dead Heat, okay? You, you got some kills. You got some, so, some, nice, uh, some nice transitions that you might find from a master editor like Goldblatt. All right? The movie's written by Terry Black. He wrote a few episodes of Tales from the Crypt and Silk Stockings. But you're not going to find a lot of horror in his repertoire. But it does star uh, the man of the hour, Treat Williams. Okay, if you're watching this video on the day that it was recorded, then you know we lost Treat Williams today, or yesterday rather, to a motorcycle accident. And it only felt right to call this audible to pay tribute to a guy who's been on screen as long as I can remember. I can't really even put my finger on what he's known for. I mean, I mean, over 130 acting roles in countless genres, very few horror films, but Dead Heat's one of them. A damn honor to be throwing this party. R.I.P. Treat Williams. But I can't let this show go on without talking about the other film, uh, the other horror film in the Treat Williams catalog. And that would be one of my favorites of his films, period. And that would be Deep Rising with uh, Famke Jansen. Hmm. But he takes on some sea creatures with tentacles and not the good kind of tentacles. Yeah, you heard me right. Treat Williams in a creature feature can't beat it. But Roger Mortis is who Treat Williams plays in Dead Heat. Think about that for a second. Roger Mortis, an eventually undead cop named Roger Mortis. Sounds a little bit like rigor mortis, right? Well, that's just the type of film Dead Heat is. All right, he co-stars Joe Piscopo. Listen, he is the rigs to Treat Williams Murtaugh, if I could use a lethal weapon and analogy. Uh, you'll know Joe Piscopo from SNL, Johnny Dangerously, Wild Guys, Sidekicks. Listen, he's, he did the carrot top thing where he went away skinny and came back jacked, right? I mean, I, I did the same thing. Mm. Joe Piscopo was cast on SNL uh, in uh, the early 80s. If, I think it was 1980. Uh, they kind of replaced the whole original cast all at once, which... I mean, that's a ballsy move to begin with, but you know, this group of uh, not ready for primetime players just wasn't up to par. The comedy was not good. It was not a good show. So everybody got replaced except for Joe Piscopo and Eddie Murphy. That should tell you something. If the only people you're not replacing on SNL, a notably headache of a show to run and the two guys are Eddie Murphy and Joe Piscopo. You know Joe Piscopo was right there. For some reason, his career fizzled. I don't know what it was. I had a lot of fun with him. He was a very quick-witted guy, shot from the hip. Anytime you hear him speak, it was just a really funny guy. But together, Eddie Murphy and Joe Piscopo would just murder this show for the next three, four years. So when you watch this film, I want you to pay extra extra attention to the dialogue part of me thinks that uh piscopo's in his improv element with this one I mean, he's such a pro that you never could tell but also starred lindsey frost you're gonna know her from the ring collateral damage but you know slasher sports being a sports and entertainment brand i can't overlook the fact that lindsey frost's son with with husband rick giolito is lucas giolito 
all-star pitcher from the Chicago White Sox, and he's not just a great pitcher. It wasn't that long ago that he was one of the very tops in the game. It's just a wild thing I didn't know before this episode. Freaking Luke Giolito. Damn. But you got some crazy side characters here as well. Claire Kirkconnell. Uh, is, she's an artist in every definition of the word. Actress and model, I'm sure. But also a literal acclaimed painter. Uh, you got Key Luke. All right, listen. Between 1934 and 1990, if you needed the token Asian man on your film or TV show, chances are Key Luke was your first call. He did everything from the Golden Girls to the A-Team to the Andy Griffith Show, where he played a character named, and get this, Charlie Lee. I don't know why, I don't know how, but that's racist, Andy Griffith. That is racist. It also starred Professor Toru Tanaka. Talk about a guy who was typecast his whole career. Professor Toru Tanaka was always that guy who just when the good guy's kicking ass, taking names, and he's all out of bubble gum, Tanaka always had to walk in looking like a giant fire hydrant with a goatee to let that good guy know his ass was about to get butt fucked in the mouth for a few minutes. He's a former pro wrestler, so maybe he didn't have the range, that's until The Running Man, when he played Sub-Zero, not the Mortal Kombat character, not the Mortal Kombat character, but a hockey player with all the characteristics of what I just said before. Now, that is range, Daddy. That is range. And then, of course, Vincent By God Price. All right. You may have grown up with Vincent Price fearing him for a few different reasons. Sure, he had... Just the, the the crazy early career where he became the staple in horror that he is right now. But for me, mm -mm, no, sir. What got me was about a three-year-old kid being babysat by some lady named Martha. And we're watching TV and on comes this liquid tile commercial where at the end of that commercial, his eyes would light up. And when I tell you, when I tell you that I would tiptoe into the room, peek around the corner, and see Vincent Price on that TV, I was gone. Gone. The most feared man on TV to me as a child, and I guarantee you it was Vincent Price to a young Billy Graves. Okay? But listen, man, what worked about this film? Buddy cop comedies were done to death in the 80s, so Dead Heat is going to get a lot of love from me for doing something different with the genre. The genre mashing, the dialogue between Williams and Piscopo, the high body count, the hot damn, the kill where Mortis hits the guy with his car. That's enough for me to make this recommendation. And that goes back to what I was saying about the uh, the Goldblatt editing powers. So you can find this one on Tubi TV for free. So daddy, cue it up. Cue it up. So while it's never going to get the love from the, you know, the, 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 the big time buddy flicks get Williams and Piscopo do carry this one from beginning to end with a little bit of help from our character actors, but the heavy loads on the cop duo, man, do I think there could be a little bit better chemistry between Williams and Piscopo? Sure. Sure. I could also use a little bit more iron drink, a little more water, claim a little bit more of my taxes, but hell, this is America. And that used to mean something. Taking the buddy cop genre and giving it a fresh take, like being fucking undead, that's something that hadn't been done. And in a world where there's not an original thought out there, this one was an original spin on a beat-up genre. So, while you are looking for something to watch tonight, cue up Tubi TV and glance at Dead Heat, if only for the memory of the great Treat Williams. The greatest justice you can do for an artist is to indulge in their art they've left us so that is going to do it for this edition of slasher sports cinema go forth and may you drink the blood of your enemies from the skulls of their children